My name is Abby Zwiebel, and I interviewed my great uncle Dwight, a retired lieutenant colonel of the U.S. Air Force. He served in the Vietnam War. So, when did you join the military? I joined the military uh, as a result of going through ROTC in college. I graduated in 1959 and was commissioned. Didn't get to go into active duty until March of 1960. When did you retire from the military? October 1989. What was it like to be away from all your family and friends for so long? Uh, sometimes it was hard, but sometimes it was kind of easy. Uh, it, you miss people. Jean was very understanding, knowing that I would have to be away when we first got married. We wrote a lot of letters back and forth. Mm -hmm. We didn't have internet. We didn't have email. Do you have any interesting or funny stories or anything that you could tell me? A lot of interesting things happen. Uh, my job, of course, as a interceptor pilot was to uh, intercept unknown airplanes. And so while I was up in Iceland, the Russians would send their reconnaissance or uh, their bombers down towards Cuba, and they would go in between Iceland and England, and we would be set up to intercept and identify what they were doing if they got too close to the Icelandic airspace. Mm -hmm. And so I, I did a lot of that as far as intercepting Soviet airplanes. Um, so when were you in Vietnam? I was in Vietnam. Uh, basis on, on like 30 and 45 days at a time, which started in August, no, yeah, August of 1967 through August of 1969. And uh, we were actually, our squadron was stationed in the Philippines and then we would deploy over to a base in Vietnam. We had, four different bases over there we went to. And some days it was 30 days, and some trips there was uh, 60 day deployments. Then we'd come home for a week or two and then deploy to a different base. So that's the way I did that. No, I spent two years over there doing that. So are you enjoying your retirement? Oh yes, it's kind of strange because now I've been retired longer than I was in. So, yes. Do you sometimes miss and kind of miss some of the action that you probably got? And like some of the exciting things that happened? Oh yeah, I, I miss flying a whole lot. What made you want to join the military? I wanted to fly. And uh, my mom's brother, my uncle Roger, Uncle Roger Wolf, was a Navy pilot. He was a... Uh, in World War II, and he flew uh, uh, reconnaissance PBY airplanes out of Okinawa. And then he, after World War II was ended, he went to work for TWA Airlines and didn't like the boredom of flying, that kind of flying. So he went back to the Navy. And so he made a career out of, out of the Navy. And I, I thought Uncle Roger was a pretty neat guy. He really was. He, when I graduated from high school, he came back on leave to visit. His mom was still living and visit the family. And took me back to his base with him to spend most of the summer. I spent about uh, two months back there with him. And watching all the airplanes and seeing all these things that he did. And I said, that's, that's pretty neat. So I came back with the idea of uh, going to college to get into ROTC and to go fly. And so I decided flying is what I wanted to do. I was lucky enough to be able to do that. Okay, well, there's one other aspect of that uh, military service that somebody's got to 
do something to keep this nation free. There's always enemies. You just have to be on the watch out for. I'm a very patriotic person. I believe in the freedoms of the United States. There's no other country in the world that has the kind of freedoms that we have. So, I guess that's the other part of my question. Why did I stay with the military? Because I could have gone out and flying for the airlines and I decided not to. My uncle is now retired and I am very proud to know that he served his country and I am glad to know that he made it out of there safely.